Good morning, everyone. So here we are today. Where? Where are we? We're in a village called Slatina, and we're at Tamara's uncle's place because they're making or baking uh, rakia or distilling rakia, which distilling is like yeah. Livovitz and pear and apple and all sorts of fruit. Yes, it's quite chilly here, isn't it? I went in the house to warm up actually and my shoes, uh, everything is wet and soggy so my shoes, my, my feet got wet so I'm wearing these. With this. <laughs> With traditional Serbian socks. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do living with somebody that puts their feet inside plastic bags and then in socks? The thing about being Keeps here... Keeps me warm and dry. Yeah, the thing about being in the Balkans is nobody really eats fruit. They distill it and then after about two years drink it and it's got a real kick. Um, we're going to show you some now um, of how they make um, the famous Shlivovitz, in this case, Rakia. This thing is heavy. Do you want me to hold it for you? You hold it for me. There you go, is that, is <laughs> that better? <laughs> Thank you, that's So we're gonna, sh we're, gonna show, we're gonna show you now, okay? Yes. So, yesterday, so this, this is what I'm wearing. I don't know if you could see in a previous shot, but this is what I'm wearing now. And men's, this is a traditional Serbian socks, because these are, have holes in it. And men's boots. So I look like a selyanka today, and he looked like a selyak yesterday. <laughs> so you're like a peasant? I'm like a peasant, yes. Okay. Okay, let's show you now the So this the is a still. This is a still. This is a fruit. And this is... The fruit has been a few months in the barrel. So that's fermenting fruit. Yes. And this all is all shliva, which is plums. And here, this is all full of water. As you can see, the, as the water yes, gets hot. And the rakia comes through, through, through there. Here. So the first thing is the fruit is put in, in here. here. In here. Then it goes. Then you twist it. What up? Then you yes. mash it up with the, the handle. Yes. And then it goes up the pipe, along the pipe, through the water, the cold water and, and, and then it comes sad, out at the sad bottom protege, there. Sad protege. Then, uh, now it's going through. Isn't now it? you can see it. You see the drips? Sad, sad. Oh, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very pretty. Very pretty. It's such Just a So here comes the alcohol. I can smell it. Look at that. Is this legal in your country? This is totally illegal where I come from. So on the farms people cannot make it? No. I think they do. They make something. That's how the famous Slivovitz is made. Fruit from the trees, ferments down, then gets brought here at the right time of the year, end of October right through till December. And then the fermented fruit put into a boiler, boils up, comes out as alcohol. And what you just saw is 50%. Um, but I don't think people will drink it straight away. They keep it for a year or so. Hmm. Thing is, I'm not sure how much rakia Tam drinks. I really am not sure after all these years. I don't drink any rakia. You don't drink any rakia? No. I swim in it. <laughs> 
so that's today's vlog we've been making well we haven't but we've been watching rakia if you come to visit us at all which you can there's a link we can uh, do in the video. a special we're gonna treat you specially we're gonna dance color for you <laughs> in traditional serbian socks so don't forget i'm not gonna dance to come and visit us okay oh, i will teach you how to dance maravets okay super <laughs> right so we'll catch you tomorrow catch you tomorrow and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and see you tomorrow bye bye Thank you.